this little spibe. Yeah, man. He's here for the podcast. Oh my he god! Look at him go. <laughs> He's having Run. a little drink. He stopped oh for a little god. drink. He's really scary and gross looking, but I don't want to kill him. I'm gonna go get like a thing to save his life. Okay. What's the thing? <laughs> what? what uh, uh, I don't just, like this, man. Just relax. <laughs> it's a doing? spider. Maybe you'll get past. Look at him. He's having a little drink. All right, hold on. I'm trying to get him to go onto this. You won't go. Put him inside it. So then what's the play after that? You leave him there for the whole podcast. <laughs> there he goes. He's gonna come out. No, I want to save his life. I'm going to starve him to death. He's in there. Oh, Inside God, of a there. locked... He's in there. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Christ. <laughs> there he is. There okay. he is. He's okay. I wasn't scared. I just... <laughs> <laughs> you fooled me. <laughs> he's, he's around. <laughs> is that going to really upset you this whole time? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm not going to be the one to take his life. Right. Okay. Spider-Man wouldn't want you to do that. That's I don't true. Know. I've never he really heard Spider-Man's thoughts on spiders. Well, yet. yeah, well, we know his his thoughts. He gets bitten by a spider and then he goes, oh, and he crushes it <laughs> immediately. <laughs> you little fucker. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Mild inconvenience. <laughs> I like how we, we spent time setting up the background and in two passes, <laughs> it just, it's right. just leveled. <laughs> you know he's going to end up on me, right? Because yeah, like I saved I, his I, life. I do just keep looking at the floor. He's over there. He, look, he's on the wall. Oh, yeah, I see him. He'll be fine. You know, I'm gonna get bit like in the eyeball yeah. because of this. <laughs> you don't ever do anything good and it not come back to haunt you. It's not even about, you know what that is? I can tell by how many legs he has. He is what they call a mouse spider. Really? They're fucking he's got, harmless. He's got eight legs, man. That's what spiders have. Just like, see, it spins what a web. What are you talking about? He spins a web. There's like a bunch of cheese in it. It's like, that's weird. <laughs> it's a mouse spider. <laughs> Mouses don't make cheese. <laughs> I know. It was, the joke is that he's captured che that cheese has somehow flown into his web. Is the joke? Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> I thought you were saying cheese was coming out of him like a web. <laughs> no. Do the right thing. Fuck off. It's his favorite movie. Yeah. Weirdly <laughs> enough, the spider. Yeah, he doesn't like. He hates Spider Man. <laughs> big uh, big uh, Spike Lee fan. Spike Lee. Yeah, he, he he came to watch Spider Man. He's got his popcorn. He's got his big Coke. He's yeah. like, let's watch. I'm, my name's in the title. I'm yeah. gonna watch it. Oh my god. God, he killed one of us. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> this movie must be all about spiders. Let's <laughs> see spider. one goddamn spider that it's whole like fucking spider, time. Spider slash man. It's like Frost Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> it's sit down interview with a spider. In the time that was <laughs> so newspapers. Why? <laughs> Gone and cast Spider Man as a human again. <laughs> Classic Hollywood. <laughs> human washing. That's a good. It <laughs> okay, that's a good segue because I mean, this is one of the more diverse uh, Marvel movies the that most I've seen. Diverse I would Marvel. say, yeah, very Marvel cool, movie. diverse cast. It's almost like playing spot the white person. Yeah, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> that's true. Here, you know how you can find the white people? Yeah. They'll be the main character. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Peter <laughs> Parker. There you go. Well, yeah. That's how you find. We'll, them. we'll make every person in diverse cast. We'll make every character a diverse character, but. No, not no, the, not the guy, Spider Man. It's I like, mean, run along, POC. <laughs> Let's not, we have a scene to do. <laughs> Let's not be ridiculous now. Like, look, it's definitely a step in the right direction. I don't want to be too cynical. No, of course, no, no, there, no, of course there's a part of me that's going like, okay, so all the main characters are still okay. All right, mm -hmm. I got it. <laughs> like, I'm just I'm clocking it. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. Just paying attention. I yeah, mean, yeah. as far as changes that I dislike, I don't want to start this way. <laughs> Mary Jane, it should no, not be. No. Dower and downtrodden. She should be happy, <laughs> She's a happy and excitable. I, that's, I just have a real issue with that. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm pulling the brakes on that thought. We'll get there. I fucking love... You're right, because love... I gotta enter the show. Welcome to Reasonable Beef! Fu. Visual edition. <laughs> yeah. Fu. Reasonable Beef Fu. Oh, this shit. This is where we have this Vietnamese soup, and we're gonna bring it out, and we're all gonna enjoy <laughs> and talk about the film. Are you gonna play? I it? wish. Is the intro gonna go over video? Over. I, I've been, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We'll we have to it shoot out. a title sequence. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> just use all the stuff of Dom running around trying to catch a spider. <laughs> we're just gonna do go to the friends fountain and just do a bunch of shots there. And like, That's fine. I would love to do that. The same beef theme Nobody song. Nobody told me it was reasonable beef. Reasonable beef. Tim E. Kish. This is the visual edition. I'm joined by mm. whomst? Dumb. <laughs> and what else is here? Jack. What else? Jack is here. And of course, joined by always is Nick on the audio. Yeah. Nixon's John. So we saw 
Spider Man. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Homecoming. Coming on movie. home. Who directed this? Uh, John, John Watts. Watts. John Watts. Yeah, I really like the story of John Watts. I love the. It sort of gives me hope that it, like he's like he started out on YouTube and stuff. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like he did like. I mean, the story of Clown. That's what I was saying. Is like he started out on YouTube. He made a parody trailer of what it was. It was it. Of uh, who? Eli Roth. Eli Roth. Mm-hmm. And he said that, like, from producer Eli Roth. And it was like a jab. It was like a yeah. ha-ha, fuck you. taking the piss out of him. Yeah. And it, it was like this movie called Clown where he, the clown couldn't get the makeup off and that was the premise. And then Eli Roth saw it and then got him to make it and he produced it. It's an Eli Roth produced movie. <sighs> it's it's really interesting. And then he made Cop Car, which was really great. Sure, and that's with Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Wait, so, so Eli Roth did like actually produce a movie, right? Yeah, okay. but it was. But I think it was like locked down for a little while and it wasn't released for a lot. But long that's why it's weird that Cop Car came out first, even though that clown was his yeah, sure. first feature. So it's, we, we're kind of seeing the, uh, this is a Sony produced film, I believe, but we're still seeing so, that. No, it's both of them. Okay. Yeah, but it's Sony like, and Marvel. But in all of the initial release things and the way they talk about it, it was, excuse me, it was that they gave basically entire creative control to Marvel. See, mm-hmm. and that's and, that, and then they Sony get the, the typical, marketing stuff. Yeah, in the right. typical Marvel fashion, they get like uh, just a uh, guy, just like I don't want to say no name because that's a little bit of a disservice sure. to him. But he, obviously, he doesn't he's young not proven young guy yeah. who's like up and coming. Yeah, but it's. Yeah. And they kind of, you know. But I, I think I think that they've done the thing that like Sony tried to do with the reboot of the Amazing Spider-Man and go, okay, this is a young director who is really really focused on relationships. He made Founder Days of Summer, so let's do that. And you can clearly see in the Amazing Spider, especially especially yeah. the first yeah. one, the moments where he's getting that stuff through. But clearly here, like he, Cop Car is a coming of age story. Sure. And that's what amazing, and that's what Spider-Man Homecoming is, and they've let him do that mm-hmm. rather than having to like fight to get that sort of Fight's stuff in there. He's like, you know. I know you did a movie about a clown that eats children. Uh, <laughs> right. We kind of wanted to do a little bit of something similar. Can you do a high school Spider-Man movie? <laughs> PG-13, no blood, no violence. <laughs> I really think that'd be up your alley. But you know, I made Cop Car. Have you seen that? <laughs> no, just make the make the Spider-Man movie. Is that, is that the one though. where they want to be cops? It's like, no, that's Let's Be Cops. <laughs> uh, I like I that movie. I haven't seen it. <laughs> but I like that one. I feel like I, to say it's similar to Guardians, I think is too far of a stretch. But right. in, in that... In the attitude of the the punk rock, uh, quote unquote punk rock aesthetic of the whole right, thing. but no, I mean in in that it is separate or was allowed to be separate. But I think what it does really, and we were, I was just saying this, like this, in my opinion, is the strongest. It fits the gr- best out of like any of them. Like to what into the into universe. the universe. Oh, okay. I feel like it was the it was the cleanest little thing, and it's because of the script. I think the script was really like uh, almost every step of the way. I think they did really smart stuff. And I think it's a really smart movie. And I don't mean like that. It's like a gri- like oh, this smartly like, grit. Yeah, yeah, but absolutely. it's just like they were not shitting. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, <laughs> absolute no shit. They weren't at shitting. All. Nobody shit. The, the nine months this film yeah. was in production. That's what made it so like good. Very swollen. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the final reel. I gotta. Can I take I this tape off to, now? <laughs> Please. I got something to take care of. The staples are hurting. So the film opens with uh, the Sony real. Sony pops up, runs. Paramount right. runs. Um, then we go into the Columbia. 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 I apologize. Not Paramount. Uh, Columbia yeah. runs. We go into the film. It's the origin story for Adrian Toomes, the villain. Yeah, um, and they just do it. Yeah, which quick. is which is already very cool. Does another one open with the villain? No, mm-hmm. uh, but that's that was immediately you could tell they're doing something different because they're doing the legwork. Yeah. They're willing to give the villain enough screen time to make him matter, and that's something that Marvel yeah, doesn't really do too much. This movie was co- I keep saying this. It's consequences and context are fucking so strong in this movie. Yeah. You understand, and by context, I mean that this is one of the first times ever, because it, it's weird to say, because I understand that the Raimi movies, like, they took place in their own thing, and you right. were to assume they kind of hint that there's other superhero shit going on. There's, like, a Doctor Strange reference. Yeah. Like, yeah, and, and in Spider-Man 2. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, what do we call this guy? And then one of the guys is like, Doctor, Doctor Strange, and he goes, that's good, but it's taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, I completely <laughs> forgot about that. 
Yeah, like, and they, so, it feels like they were always sort of skirting around. And in around Spider-Man it. One as well, obviously they didn't have any clue what they were doing. Mm -hmm. But in Spider-Man One, there's like loads of references to like Eddie Brock. Eddie's been trying for weeks; he can barely right, get right, a glimpse right, of it. Right, and right. he goes, and then, and then "Oh, I was late, like and Doctor Connors fired me." Yeah. Like they're clearly like like planting all this stuff, right. and then they sort of mess it up with their own continuity in the Absolutely. first one. Right. But they are always trying to make it like, "Oh, there's a comic book." Yeah. Yeah. But there's it's that it. line in three where he says, well, "Let me go ask my friend Daredevil about this symbiote <laughs> thing." So like that's another <laughs> right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah small. Yeah, yeah. When he yeah. looks at the camera. <laughs> and he says, I have first appeared in 1962 yeah. in Amazing Fantasy. This number looks 15. like a job for Wolverine. Yeah. My friend. My friend, Wolverine. The X-Man. <laughs> have you heard of the X-Men? <laughs> Hi, I'm Spider-Man. I'm here. The X-Men? Yeah. <laughs> this looks like a job for the Fantastic Four. <laughs> <laughs> Do the legwork with uh, Adrian Toomes, aka the Vulture, uh, and they have this really nice build up. You see that you know he lost the thing to Tony Stark. Yes. He's angry about it. He moves into it, and he and there's this line at the end of it where they decide to this he's going to start salvaging. Oh, yeah, you love he this. says business is good, and then it cuts, and then the Marvel logo right, plays. Right. So it opens with Sony, and then it at that line switches to Marvel and I'm like oh, this is so good yeah. as like a guy who loves the marketing <laughs> aspect yeah, of yeah, all, yeah, all, the, all the, the uh, all the sort of like, behind the scenes stuff like, they know yeah, they yeah, know. yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's so much audience signaling in this movie there like, really is with Aunt May and like the nods to like yeah we we know that yeah. she's, you know, she's I don't love that hot. though yeah, yeah and it's, neither it's do maybe I. my it's <clears throat> legitimately I think it might be my least I think my biggest complaint of the movie is I don't May really yeah I don't like Marissa Tomei as Aunt May I don't like even I don't like their what they're do I don't like that Aunt May. That like, to, that we, to we, me, we, I can look past so many other things. Because when you think about this, as much as this is like sure. climbing the ranks of my fave Spidey movies, like we've already said, it's at yeah. least the third favorite, and it's maybe fighting for a place a couple spots higher. Right. Like, I don't know. I can look past... It's not his. It's not his suit. He's all these fucking gadgets. He's got a drone. He talks to a computer. Right. Like that's not. If you if you listed all that stuff and you asked me who what superhero that was, I'd say go. Oh, mini fuck Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, go! That's a go, go fuck, fuck yourself. Yeah, I love my, that guy. My favorite image yeah. comics. Villain. Imagine that conversation. Yeah. Okay, there's a guy. He's got a drone. He talks to a computer. Yeah. His suit has loads of gadgets. What yes. superhero is that? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <yourself. laughs> like, Jesus Christ! I was just I wanted Cut to two, go fuck yourself. <laughs> issue one. You like comics? Like I wanted to do some trivia. <laughs> like chill, because of the con, because of the strong fucking context. And it's again, it's it, this is like the first time I'm really feeling the universe thing right. beyond like the first Avengers and they're all together for the first time. Yeah. I felt the presence of the universe be a Absolutely. fucking asset. I completely agree. I was like, oh my God, I know where we are mm -hmm. and you're showing me a little lower. Down, yeah. A little yeah, somewhere yeah, yeah. else in the corner. Sure. With Marissa Tomei as Aunt May though, like we were just talking about this, like and I'm sure it's been said somewhere else as well. Why does she have sexual tension with her nephew? It's really <laughs> fucking weird. Wait, what? That didn't Don't even to me at all. Well, then there's... Sh well, hang on. So here's the thing. Let me, let me counter. Okay. So... Your parents die, right? And you end up with your aunt. Mm -hmm. Who is it? It's not going to be this moo moo wearing old lady I, who's presenting. Well, also, I'm, I'm totally for that. I'm and totally obviously, for that. The, the, his actual relation is Uncle Ben. Right. Because Parker. Yeah. That's his actual like person. So, fuck. Ben Parker married. I get that and all. But, like. And I, I, I did, it didn't clock a sexual tension to me. It clocked as. Well, but he's not really. So obviously, he's put not upon really. on his aunt, right? Who has to take care of him now. Right. And he's changing in multiple ways now. He's fucking Spider Man and he's also, right. like, going through sex. She doesn't like. She never has kids. She doesn't yeah. know how to handle that. She never wanted this. So it's like. I don't think there's sexual tension as much as she's just this older woman who like doesn't know how to approach. She's like, yeah, but no, I, you, I go to parties too. And like, you she in that up. sentence said more for her character than is in the movie. That's two hours and thirteen that's minutes. That's true, long. but if I can infer that, like, they don't need to spend too much time with Aunt May. In fact, See, I would have more issues with it if they're like, oh, let's put some more Aunt May screen time in. Why? No, no, it's like, not about. I don't think it's about screen time. It, no, I think it's, it's not, about how she acts yeah, and what she does when she's there. It's it feels maybe it's just. I don't know. It's, a, it's it's an interpretation thing, isn't it? But it's, it's even like the moment where like he slides in, sort of like risky business style, right, and right. he's like, "May, I need your help." And then right. it cuts to her, and she does this cute little perky thing. And it's I was just like, weird. It's like it's, I, it doesn't what are you it doesn't doing? sit right with me in some way. I can't even really explain it. There's just and there's, for, there's all I that stuff when you guys just don't want to fuck Aunt May. <laughs> I think deep down you like. No. Inside, you know, no. Brother, you have it backwards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she I want... to get older. When she's like, everyone needs a hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck 
<laughs> when he smashes that money bag against the wall, that's when I know. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can take this money from me. <laughs> For God's sakes, it's not much. Now take me. <laughs> I can't even look at a toaster and without like kind of popping a, Get a little bit a little of a bonus. <laughs> no, but it's it's, it's what well, I'm what I'm getting at is like I for some reason the Aunt May thing is a thing I'm having a harder time looking past. Right. Like MJ being not named Mary Jane. <laughs> like right. her name okay. is sure. like she, she's called MJ because her name is Mary Jane. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, I'm Michelle. You can call me uh, the famous comic character, <laughs> Mary Jane Watson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> is that for really, you? Fine. Yeah, my friends, uh, my friends called me Nightwing. <laughs> so, <all right. laughs> She use your real name, Mr. Greenland. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I don't know. Like that stuff doesn't bother me because there's still like a spirit in it that I understand and I I get. And even with MJ, yeah. like Gwen versus MJ was like MJ was sort of party girl, aloof. You didn't wasn't really didn't seem sure. like a serious thing. And then she was because Gwen died. And then Peter and MJ had a like came right. together. Right. Well, her whole thing is that she seems to be this like vapid beauty queen, but really she's, she's actually got a lot going on. But, she's but layered. It's interesting because well, they're doing Hermione with her. Right. Well, let's let's talk about this MJ well, thing. What what's more is yeah. So I do not like this interpretation of MJ at all. I really mm. disliked it, and I feel like I can't say that because there is such like a gross gross tinge on it of people being mad that yeah, the yeah, caster yeah. is Zendaya or is a black woman. I don't have an issue with that. I have an issue with the fact that this character is Ali Sheedy from The Breakfast Club or the yellow Power Ranger from the new Power Rangers movie, which is also a <laughs> Breakfast Club send up. But it's this character of the dark artsy girl. It's like, oh, I'm just but, here to watch your suffering. Look at my photo. It's like, okay, wow. yes, you're very gloomy and mysterious. But that's I not how it reads. It re what? Well, don't tell me how it fucking no, reads but that's, for me. That's, <laughs> I read the shit. Sorry. I meant more. I read it and I'm like, oh, this sucks. It's how I read it. I'm so, Yeah, I disagree. I think she pulls off maybe arguably ba uh, not the best lines and, you know, and not well, the th best and that stuff. Might, and that she might like, be it. There's really, frankly, no dialogue for her. Everything she says is like this. I know this, what you're like, saying. I know what you're saying. Like, to me, I don't get the, the gloomy, like, oh, isn't she cool because she has such a dark perspective. I totally, I was picking up. Like she, I don't know. It's like she thinks everything's kind of funny. Even like even when she's talking about I want to go and protest and stuff. There's this I don't know. It was just it seemed like loose. It seemed mm -hmm. like airy. It didn't seem like mm -hmm. it was really like yeah the world is terrible. Yeah, I I, I, I I like it. Like, I I I like it a lot. And I think that it's like setting up. There's there's I have a lot of thoughts on how famous characters are reinterpreted into new movies. Yeah. So like there's this whole fucking trend at the moment. Like in Star Trek, we had it with Benedict Cumberbatch being cast as not Khan. Right. And then he in the movie goes, I am Khan. Mm. And everyone in the audience goes, who fucking cares? Yeah. And then mm. you've got the same thing that happened in Spectre when Christoph Waltz was cast as not Blofeld. And then he goes, my name is Blofeld. And we mm. go, who fucking cares? Because it changes the, the absolutely nothing yeah. in the movie. <laughs> but in this, I feel like it does. I feel like when she says, oh, my friends call me MJ, which I already think is already like, up there as an iconic line like mm. i think it's going to go down as my friends call me mj i think that that's i'm already seeing that on like a lot of things and it feels like a little a little nice mm -hmm. line but mm -hmm. it also her her character arc even though she's not even a secondary character she's like a fourth or fifth character sure. yeah she's like her character there. arc fucking reads like at the beginning like one of her yeah. first lines is i don't have any friends and at the end yeah. She does. My At the end, friends. she says, my friends call me MJ. And it's right. like her accepting this group. And so for me, that makes me like it more. Yeah. Like the, the, the fact that she's saying, oh, I call me this now because right. we're, we're, we're a collective. But also the fact that it's a reference to, uh, you know, a very <laughs> famous Let comic book character. You, yeah, yeah, I like you saying it because that, that even like just because on the same point, like I feel like it. Because you you said it this way, you said it's not just a reveal. It's not just like a hey, we pulled the rug out from under. It's not you. a wink it's, to the it's audience. Like a, it's yeah. a, it's baked into a character thing, a character arc that actually makes sense. Like she changes who she actually right. is at the end, and then the name also comes along with. I'm kind of like a different person now. Their yeah. whole decathlon team has this arc that happens without Peter, which I think is exactly what you do for Spider-Man, where mm. his life is going on it's without him. It's yeah, moving yeah. on without him, and he's going to go do Spider-Man stuff, and that's something that will happen for his entire career mm -hmm. as Spider-Man. And I'm like, oh, they get it. They get it. They yeah. get what he sacrifices. It's Ever not like big shit. So yeah. he doesn't have to die. He's yeah. just losing that, the moments of One of my favorite of moments in the whole film is when they go, 
hey, we're going to go swimming, come with us. Yeah. And, then it, and then it cuts to somebody who looks like him from the back right. jumping in. Yeah. And you're like, oh, is he, is he taking a moment? And then it pans up and there he is watching it. And you're right. like, this is a That's little bit heartbreaking. There he is. Yeah, and he's like choosing this over, over I, his own life. Similarly, when he's trying to get back because he found out that the thing is a bomb and Ned has it in the back for the Washington Monument thing. When it cut to, okay, we're in uh, final... What, what do they call it? Like Jeopardy. Yes, when they when they are <laughs> on the, the Jeopardy. Destination. Yes, when in Spider-Man: Homecoming. No, it's all <laughs> when they're playing Family Fortunes. When they begin, yeah, and it cuts, and you're like, oh, he, like you think he maybe is gonna make it and get there like at the end and save it with or the even, final even answer. with the Homecoming dance, you're like, oh, is he gonna try and like balance both? Yeah. No, and he, then, just, he just leaves it. And then, it, yeah, it's like in the middle. And it's also, they don't even make a big, like, oh, thing about it. It's just it cuts. And it's like, hey, final, whoever gets this answer wins. And you're like, oh, he didn't get to do it at all. He completely yeah. missed it. They're all going to be mad at him. Did you notice? I noticed it this time, second time. Uh, by the way, yeah, we saw this two times in less, less than, than 20, 24, 24 hours. hours. Yeah. Uh, the Their team are the Tigers. That's their sports team. Lol. And, 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 and it's almost like an indie movie. You know how in indie movies, like uh, in Juno, uh, it cuts to a different uh, season and then you have all the guys like who right. are on a running team run past. Right, right, yeah. right. In this movie, when every act starts, they have the tiger mascot run across the screen. Hmm. It's a very like weird in indie way. movie high school thing yeah. that they do. It's kind of interesting. And I was immediately like, oh, Peter's going to join a, a team. Right. He's going to be a tiger. Mm-hmm. MJ is going to say, he's going to say, yeah, face it, Tony. <laughs> You're <laughs> great. great. <laughs> so, and another thing. So, so basically we've, we've been having a discussion. Are we going to do? Yeah. A, a, like sort of world building predictions. Uh -huh. Okay. Because I, I think this, this movie is, it's interesting. is okay. textured to fuck. Absolutely. I think it's so like it's brilliantly base. like placed and around again, the, the, f I think maybe the first time and the strongest time that all of this, Hey, we're, planting seeds for a thing that's going to come up felt per pitch perfect. Yeah. It doesn't it feel didn't like fuck the movie up. Yeah. It felt like it was still part of it. I love it. It was amazing. It doesn't feel like threads that aren't finished. It feels like they're just dropping things in in dialogue. Exactly. They feel really natural, but you go, hang on, does that mean something? Because in they're the movie, it up. doesn't mean something. Yeah. And yeah. it's sort of like, it's fine. It doesn't but they feel are just setting loads of shit Not up. to beat up on Amazing Spider-Man, but that's one of my biggest yeah. Yeah, issues with it as mm -hmm. well. And I mean, that and feels like unfinished threads. Yeah. And also the unbelievability of the high school setting on that oh, one. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, nice. I, I harp on that all the time. But this is, I think it's sort of genius that they set it at like a school for really smart kids. Because they're yeah. like, oh, we could just have a group of weird fucking high schoolers. Right. Yeah. And just rationalize that away. Because it's already this. a little off. So maybe yeah. when they're talking to each other a certain way, you're like, you're like, yeah, well, they're nerds. Don't talk like, to each other like yeah, this. They're, all, like, well, they're all young geniuses. Yeah. So it's like, here's the deal. So the first thing is that this whole movie is in a way set around moving the mm -hmm. Avengers from New York to... You're going to let me drop this box? Yeah, up? absolutely, yeah. Low. So, oh, like, yeah. They're, they're moving from the New York Stark Tower to Upstate. Mm -hmm. And they're moving all of it. They're taking all of it away. And so I said to Dom, who has he sold that tower to? Norman Osborn. Oh, yeah! That is, <laughs> that is Oscorp, motherfucker. Imagine oh, in the yeah. second movie seeing that A come down and seeing it replaced with Oscorp. You're just going to go... And you're just going to start wanking oh, no. right there, then uh -huh. there. Oh, no. Yeah. And like American Sun or whatever the fuck the art. What was the thing? What is it? Iron Pat. They already did Iron oh, yeah, Patriot, true. which is weird. Because mm -hmm. yeah, now Spidey's part of well, it. Well, so, I mean, we could also, like, well, Iron Patriot wouldn't happen for a long time anyway. Yeah, no, we got to know Norman. We got to get Green Goblin. Yeah. He's gotta, uh, but, like, I'm kind of hoping that it goes up and it's not the plot of the next movie. Yeah, that'd uh, be fine. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I'm fucking sick of Goblin. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see it anymore. For a long you, time. Do you know what I? You know what I? Yeah. I really want them to do a movie the way that they did the Green Goblin and Spectacular Spider-Man, where the whole time, even though I know that Norman Osborn is the Green Goblin, right, I'm watching it being like, who is, is it? Is it not yeah. him? Because yeah. they do that a lot. You're mm -hmm, like, wait, is it? Well, that what they do is you don't. It's basically, is it Harry or is it Norman? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're like, I don't know. Because Harry's I having a drug no problem and stuff. Idea. Yeah, it's, 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 and it's, yeah. I feel like they could, they could do it, but I, I also agree that like they could just start having Oscorp in New York now yeah. rather than having Stark Tower in there and it's the same tower that's like a really smart fucking thing they could absolutely. do absolutely and I guess it kind of um, 
Marvel doesn't have any films set in New York now, so it's like, all right, Sony, you could just <laughs> yeah. You you know, all the shit that happens in New York is all you guys. Mm-hmm. There yeah. you go. The next thing, I think this is the most obvious one. I think a lot of people are going to point this out. Uh, is that um, Donald Glover's character is the Prowler, yes, and that yeah. makes him Miles Morales's uncle. Oh. His name is Aaron Davis, which is literally Ultimate Prowler. Mm-hmm. That's oh, his name. Wow. So that means that right now, My- Miles Morales exists in this universe, and he's about ten years old. He says, "I have a nephew. Said, I got family in this neighborhood. Yeah, my I nephew. These it, weapons. He says, "My nephew is in this neighborhood." He literally says, "My nephew." Yeah. So that means that in about, I think, in about three movies' time, I think maybe in the fourth movie, it will uh-huh. be called something like Brand New Day. And it will be like Spider-Man Peter Parker handing over the mantle to Miles Morales. That'd be very interesting. What else? <laughs> what were the other, what were the what other were the cons? Other I need another... this listicle, guys. There needs to be five so, minimum. Uh, okay, so there's, there's, there's other things. Uh, there, I didn't notice the first time. I read it online. He doesn't have spider sense. Yeah. yeah no, I, I said we mm-hmm. were talking about this yeah, after the film. Oh, yeah, I didn't. He, at least they never call attention to it, which is fascinating because I'm hoping that maybe they'll address that where I think his, he, he's his, gonna get it he's or something he's growing right yeah. his mm-hmm. body is growing so like yeah he hasn't developed everything yet his powers yeah develop yeah. Like, like naturally mm-hmm. not just with the suit mm-hmm. um, yeah like, imagine the, 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 the thing in, in the next movie where he's like what the he fuck keeps is, like, he keeps like, having it and he's yeah. like what is it yeah I'm kind of hoping yeah that might be interesting I'm actually kind of hoping that he moves more towards like his own natural ability and away from because that was an issue with this is a very nitpicky issue, but I'm like, the suit makes him a little overpowered at mm-hmm. this point. He's got a yeah. lot, a lot, a lot of powers yes. now. And I agree. Like, I, like, However, his web shooters have always been able to do that sort of stuff. They've just made it more Iron Man. Yeah, but it was always like, it was always ramshackle. He was always doing it in his apartment. Like, you know, it, it, he didn't have AC because he has no, and because he, he spent it all on web fluid yeah. and he's sitting mm-hmm. there and it's all kind of shitty, mm-hmm. uh, but it's still really well made because Peter Parker's a genius. But like kind of having it that's straight the th- up, that's like the here's thing. 586 combinations of web shooters. It's yeah. Like, yeah, but I like the fact that he's still making the web himself. And whenever anyone brings yeah. up the conversation with me of like, oh, natural versus you know organic versus uh, the mechanical web shooters, I right. always go to mechanical. And I say, because it it's a character thing, it makes it clear that Peter Parker is a genius. He's a scientific right. genius. Absolutely. But that ever, no one ever really cares because that's never been shown in the movies before, but yeah. now it is. In this and movie, stakes. Yeah. This movie he could run on a web cartridge. Yeah, totally. yep. This movie particularly did a good job of like, oh right, Peter's like, smart like yeah. he's not just oh he was smart in high school oh, you know he the won worst my least favorite thing in the amazing well not my least favorite thing but one of my least favorite things in the, <laughs> in the amazing Spider-Man 2 is when he's looking up on YouTube how to do something scientific and I'm like yeah. you're Peter Parker right? you should know how to do this like yeah. I'm watching it and being like why are you doing it like to make him look more normal sure. I don't want him to be a normal guy you know what's kind of sick how the cartridges pop like a yeah. like yeah. clip yeah I <laughs> That's really like rad. that yeah. that's awesome yeah, I really I would like that say I I agree with you again conceptually like the suit thing it does bother me like it doesn't ring true with Spider-Man but I think it serves as an extension of the big world he's accidentally become a part of because the whole literally the idea of him it's not a very hidden metaphor but the fact that he bypasses the thing that's supposed to keep him grounded and let him learn at the speed he's supposed to learn at. They literally rip it out of the suit. Ned changes the programming or whatever. That's like him saying, I don't need to be in high school. I don't need to be a kid. I just want to be an Avenger, blah, blah, blah. And then the idea is like, you don't know what you're, you don't even understand. Like he doesn't understand his responsibility. He doesn't understand how much power he has. And it's like, there's, and they do that the whole time too, even with just his strength, with just how about that whole sequence where he's where he's dragged along with the van and he's yeah. chasing the van? He fucks up like seven houses on the mm, way. Yeah. He like falling through the fence and through the shed brings and brings down a, a tree house. Yeah, and, it, and he's so inexperienced. And I That's love so that. Much fun, yeah. I <laughs> love it so fucking much. And also, just on that note, I've been waiting since I was probably forever. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Since, since I, I was since eternal. I never. Yeah. Since <laughs> I saw all moments at once. <laughs> um. For, to see Spider-Man swinging around in a neighborhood, yeah, because yeah. that's where I live. He's and not, so like yep. I was. He's not swinging in Manhattan at all in this. Like you he's see, literally never you in see Manhattan. You see Stark yeah. Tower, and you see like all the stuff happening in Manhattan, but he's, he's never, never there. there. Yeah, there's no reason for him to be. He doesn't yeah. live there. But I, I like the fact that, like, I think that in movie two or movie three, when you like finally see. It'll, it'll, Thank it'll, you. When you when you, when you when you when you see him swinging in Manhattan, you're gonna get goosebumps. There's gonna be a huge yeah. moment about him being in the center of New York. And and also, he'll is, be like 18 by yep. then, and like he's, gonna go, he's to, gonna go to college there. He's gonna mm-hmm. go to fucking Oscorp University or whatever. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, but like probably Horizon University. Ooh, probably, yeah. they'll probably tie it in. 
I mean, because Horizon, they've been. I've noticed they're they're slipping. working it into the canon. Yeah. Until like, because it's in the XD series where yep. they show up at Horizon Labs. I'm like, that's interesting. Because that's like a last five. Or that's six probably years where he'll meet Harry. Yeah. I think he'll meet Harry there. That'd be like, cool. At college. Yeah. In college. Mm-hmm. And they also don't. We don't talk about Uncle Ben in this movie. That's what I was about to get to and as well. And I would like to. No one mentions it. Yeah. Well, they 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 nod. To, well, what, what ever happened since to what May. happened to May, right. I can't put her. Through oh, do that. do they yeah. say that? Yes. Since we know what happened. Oh, to I've May, missed that both I times. Possibly put her to put her through that, and it's right. like, well, what happened to Ben? Mm-hmm. And it's it almost seems like Pete. It's not weighing on Peter's mind. So yeah. it makes me think like, did they get rid of that? Which is kind of an instrumental part of Spider Man. But at the same time, we've kind of had this new philosophy of like, what fucking whatever. Do uh, who cares? Yeah, just like, go. Just adapt just the character however you want. Fun? Whatever, make it work. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So part of me, the comic book nerd part of me goes like, okay, the excision of Uncle Ben's uh, death being his sort of responsibility kind of loses a lot from Peter. But I don't know, maybe they'll offset it with something else. Or it's maybe, all, we're maybe watching it, lo- it. Maybe we just yeah, don't know. It looks like yeah. we're, he's learning his lessons slower. We're watching it, it happen. It's it's true. True. It feels like Tony and who, Stark. But who's going to die? Tony Stark, question. probably. If Tony Stark is his Uncle Ben. Oh, my God. Holy Christ. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because he already Just is. Taking a moment. Like the, the new great power, <sighs> great responsibility is uh-huh. if you're nothing without the suit, you shouldn't have it. Yeah. Like so, that's his whole thing. Yeah. And again, as you're saying, like when you were saying, we know when he finally does swing through Manhattan again, and we get that visual after how, it's gonna be fucking four years or whatever <laughs> sure. since we've seen it before. That's gonna. F- it's you're you're right. We're just stretching out the origin a little longer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But for some reason, it feels like we're covering more ground. It sure. feels mm-hmm. better. It feels like it's like by taking its time, it's somehow gotten. Well, it's uh, saying more about Peter Parker, and that's who we yeah, really care totally. about. Totally. Like it's t- it's giving us more about who he is. And like, the- I like I thought about this a lot. I've been trying going over it like in the past, you know, since I've seen it, twenty four hours. And <laughs> my favorite moment in the movie is the bit where like a guy randomly goes. Hey, you're that Spider Guy from YouTube. Yeah. And he goes, Hey, call me Spider Man. He goes, Okay, Spider Man, do a flip. <laughs> and then he no, does it. And he, he just moment. does it. Yeah. And then he goes, Yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite moment because he's just like, That's Spider Man. That's it. It's like Spider Man to me. It's because that's course just such a surreal. And it's very like Tim and Eric that moment. It's two really fat dudes, <laughs> and the one's like, Hey, yeah, Spider Man. Like, it's all really high <laughs> voice. It's like, that's, a, and he's sort of. Uh, blurred out of frame he's not in focus like yeah. that is so funny and yeah. strange do a flip and so welcome <laughs> like so welcome that's like a touch of and they have the, obviously another touch of Tim and Eric is the uh, the school news oh, program man. which oh, is just God. so deftly done yeah just like it's really, so YouTube yeah it's yeah. really YouTube-y it's, it's <laughs> fucking weird to see that in a, like a movie like this oh it's really and yeah. like with the, with the um, they fuck in. up the layering yeah, like the yeah, things yeah. over them and, and it's, it's behind it's them it's on the bit like, when she's like I've so already got funny. a date and then it zooms in on him and he just sort of like just he goes, okay. just looks at okay. fr- look, just looks in lens <laughs> for a moment okay. yeah uh, a nice little line for the first time ever, Marvel has given nod to their TV properties, their Netflix properties. Mm. Yeah, where he says like really this is above way. you. Yeah, yeah, it's like this. Or he he kid he stops. Tony stops him. He's like, this is above you. And he's like, oh well, where are the Avengers? He's like, well, this is a little below them. There's like there's a group of there's guys a, that handles yeah, this kind of thing. He, he says that it's, it's, yeah, above, and I'm like, it's, it's a little above their pay grade. Yeah, and I'm like, oh okay. Yeah. It's yeah. just like so. At least we're yeah. acknowledging because there there is the 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 pol- politics of tv marvel versus film marvel yeah. being they headed by different people like really tv is other. controlled by comic books marvel as far as i know whereas marvel know. studios uh kind of controls the films mm-hmm. um pearl mutter i believe is the the ceo of marvel and, and we, we talked about this briefly but they have some kind of uh, apparently some sort of clashing of uh of wills i don't know what's well, that weird thing where they're getting to in tv they have to do an episode a week you know agents of shield has what 20 plus episodes every season they're gonna start covering more ground than the movies can so they're gonna just start having all these crazy fucking storylines so it's like it's basically like it's getting out of hand i think yeah. and marvel is like yeah oh, they need shit. to consolidate that they gave their cousin a job and then he's yeah. like gone off and another you know, he's selling. it's becoming like the arrowverse in not a great way the arrowverse works because it's first of all not connected to dcu um and it's pulp pure pulp mm-hmm. they don't give a fuck they're like yeah here's this hero now here's six of these heroes right. we got them all yeah i'm getting another beer okay <laughs> uh, could you get me one please this movie probably had more posters than i've ever seen I another know. movie yeah. a good and one. i feel like it's just because they're like no no not that one no we got this one never mind fuck fuck that one fuck that one we got yeah. this one i, I looked at like, like the, you know the new uh the show on netflix glow yeah 
why does that have a better like character poster yeah than a, than a spider-man movie yeah dude that is so strange Good to question. me i feel like there, it looks that... like there was no lighting work done on that poster like everything all the is lights the coming same. from different directions yeah it's yeah. just weird when these things are like assumably it's not just a guy ultimately there's not no. like the dude who says <laughs> that's the right post hey yeah. marketing i yeah. am sony <laughs> <laughs> you may proceed. It's like there's a bunch of people who had to sit, look at that, and pat and say, "Yep, yep, yep, looking good." Sure, <laughs> like that always blows my mind. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, like how those are also those are separate teams. Like if the designer isn't good and their management isn't good, they're gonna like okay shit that yeah, the other teams I, yeah, like, don't know, even, like it doesn't all go up the chain. But again, to, like, it, the top is top. It comes back to like really Spider Man like. But like, you look at all the posters that, like, I, I know we're in LA at the moment, but, like, I don't know how it is in the rest of the world, but all the posters around LA are fucking great. Like, sure. you've got the one of him, like, chilling in his in his little web hammock. Yeah. You've yeah. got the one of him and Iron Man swinging together and flying together. Which, and that, that looks pretty cool. Trailer shot. Yeah. Not yeah. in the movie. That was, made, that was made just for the they trailer. They also, yep. correct me if I'm wrong, but the plane looks different. Choreography in the, in the trailer. He's flips. He's, isn't he standing on the one wing and do, using both hands like this? Well, a lot. I think a lot of the, the, the shots are flipped and also it's not a hologram. Like right. The, the, the plane yeah, is yeah, just yeah. a normal plane and stuff like that. That's because they were working on, they're like, all right, we need to make sure that anyone epileptic dies. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is going to take months and we're not ready for the trailer. You will get what you get. <laughs> oh no man it's just like we're not rendering this shit for a trailer are yeah. you kidding me it's a plane it's a yeah. normal ass plane it it's really cool bothers idea, me yeah but that, that flash that flashiness in that ending was like mm -hmm. it's a bit much it's a little it's yeah. a little much the the, the 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 marketing i mean obviously it really really bothers everybody because everyone was like oh great thanks for showing me the movie yeah um, but like but i they, found that it's not that's it's not what not. it is yeah they, no. what and i knew they'd done this from when i saw it i was like Oh, they're showing us all the action because they're going, please come see it. Look how big and cool it is. Right. When really it's a high school movie. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And all of his, like, we're in the neighborhood. Like, again, the fact that they're, ne that they're not in Manhattan ever, that it's like, what's the first big action sequence? The In the bank, in the ATM. Yeah, and probably, which is yeah. already, yeah. it's like immediately, it's like, all right, it's a Spider Man thing. The first action sequence really is him in a, like, the little in a room. ATM room. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. And then, like, what's the next one? The chase through the neighborhood yeah. and again that's like a neighborhood he's yeah. holding onto a van yeah. and jumping over and i also love again consequences limitations are very clear in this movie what he can do and what he cannot do like the fact that he's when he's running after the van you're sort of like you, you would think when you when you think okay spider-man's chasing after a van he's of course he's gonna get it yeah but then you're like no i, I mean he's he can run kind of fast, well, but, but he's also, not going to run 50 he's, miles an well, hour. Yeah. Like, he's 15. He's he doesn't 15, like, not like not even know all the way what there. he's doing. And mm -hmm. just so, like when you're watching him struggle to keep up and when you're watching like climbing up the Washington Monument, when he gets to the top, I felt like every he's time... He's scared of heights. He's sure. scared. Of, yeah, he's... That's interesting. He's never been... He's that's and also when he gets to Manhattan, there's going to be that thing of like, fuck. Because you know like in The Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man 1, when like... He's learning how to use his powers, and one right. of the first things he does, I don't know how the fuck he gets away Jump with this, off a building. but he gets to the top of a roof and looks down and goes, cool, I'm oh going to do a handstand. <laughs> I'm going to do a fucking oh, handstand yeah, and let yeah, myself yeah. fall. Who knows if these web shooters are, are going to work from up here? I yeah. haven't tested it. And then he does it, lands on a table, and just gets down and no one sees it. Yeah. And like that pisses me off. Whereas in this it's movie, hard to believe, they're doing yeah. it a lot slower and it feels like they're really building it. Like he gets to the top of the Washington Monument monument, and the police come in and go, get the fuck down. Yeah. Like that, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. that, that, that is what happens. And that's really, yeah. really cool that they're actually looking about the consequences of what Spider-Man does in the right. world. That is a fun action sequence where he jumps off the top and swings mm -hmm. around in the helicopter. Yeah, I wish I hadn't like, seen it. Yeah. Yep. And See, I, I kept myself from a lot of the marketing. I didn't watch mm -hmm. many of the trailers, Same. so a lot of that was fresh to me. The fact that they released a, a, an iPhone version of the Spider-Man theme that goes over the Marvel logo, what? and we what? all saw it. You know, the, 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 uh, the, the Spider-Man the theme. Gicino. Yeah, the Michael, Michael Giacchino's iPhone video of, of them playing oh, yes, the, yes. the theme. The fact that they released that, if they didn't release that and we all saw that in the cinema, I think I would have, like, creamed right there. Oh, sure. I, I, but, like, I knew it was coming. Sure. And so I was like the whole time yeah. I was like, okay, that's going to be, cool. it was almost like every scene in this movie, every act had a, Oh no, I know it's not over yet because I know Hulk has to catch Iron Man. Right. Right. But yeah. every, every act had yeah. one or two, one of, of those. I remember right. the first time I might even have said this in some incarnation of beef before, but I remember seeing the Tigger movie 
And it, was, <laughs> it was the first time I clocked. I know we're not near the end yet because he isn't in the snow yet. <laughs> and I remember that from the trend. I remember sitting in the theater and being like, hmm, mm-hmm. you ain't fooling me, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I said that to my dad. <laughs> Tigger movie. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> I just imagine, like, that's fun to imagine that, like, after 110 <laughs> minutes of just relative silence, your eight year old son turns <laughs> to you and goes, You're not fooling me, me you, you bitch. bitch. <laughs> It's like Jesus. Play Watch the, the dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tigger, Dad. There was a whole song about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, man. I, yeah, I, I felt every time he got hurt. This is a big thing with Tim H. He he says a lot. Of, he said it with with Wonder Woman. It made me laugh. Where it's like, when you're watching them just throw each other around, you're like, okay, but. I almost did. That's <laughs> <laughs> like a Tim impression. Out there right there. Tim impression. <laughs> oh, that is so fucking funny. I almost did Tim. Okay. He says like, yeah, but okay. So like, did that one hurt? Yeah. Did that hurt? You're yeah. just watching did two powerful hurt? people hit each other and whoever t- hits each other harder In this is the movie, winner. Yeah. Every time he got actually hurt or was winded or something was hard, I was like, yeah, I get it. I yeah. feel it. Him trapped under the thing yeah. is like, did you not feel like, did your chest not feel like yeah. compressed a little bit? You're like, fuck. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of a recreation like a of, that, of that classic yeah. Spider-Man, that classic Spider-Man cover. Like, you know, yeah. like, I, I, I want to know, I, I don't think I do recognize it, but the bit when he's lifting it up, the way it's framed looks like a comic book panel. Sure. And I don't know if it is a reference to well, something. It, it, it well, must the, be the in some way. The one when he's yeah. under with the water dripping on him. Yeah, he's got yeah. The, I forget, like yeah, I forget. 30 seconds or something. Right, right. And I do want to talk about Shocker. I did like how they kind of flipped the expectation we're yeah. having the first guy dressed like Shocker. Ooh, he's yeah. got the jacket on. Schultz, yeah. yeah, and he's like, that he gets And then at the end, like, that nope. other guy's got the jacket. It's the other guy. Yeah. And the other guy's Bokeem Woodbine, who is like an amazing actor. And I'm like, why is he... It's not below him, right? He's just an actor of such a caliber that yeah. playing a secondary villain but who not says like that. twenty things. Like he's he's the black guy who goes, Damn. <laughs> <laughs> They've that cast him as true. that guy. That's very true. And like he was he just played he was on he's season two back. of Fargo. Um, oh yeah, big time. As Mike Milligan, who was kinda like this waxing philosophical uh mafia hit like black mafia hitman in the seventies, who's like all about uh kind of getting his and like getting power and like mm. subjugating the world because he's like a black man and he wants to, you know, sure, proceed sure, sure. forward in the world. And it's just like a really well done character. And it's like, I would love seeing more of him, but I want to see him challenged more. I want people to recognize like, Oh, this is like a fucking fine. And you know what's funny though? Is like actor. these things re- like, you know, I kind of felt like Robert Downey Jr. No pun intended was phoning it in. Yeah. In this movie. It's, it's kind of like somebody and was doing a Tony Stark impression. Yeah, it was a little weird. I was he, sort of he literally, like, his character changes. Forgetting so, how you did it before? He's like, like changes glib. so drastically. Like, well, you see him like, it's like in the middle of the movie going like, hey, you fucking messed up. Give me the suit. You're out. I'm done with you. Right. And at the end of the movie, he's like, hugs him. And he's just like, I fucking, yeah, he did I'm, a good job. I'm proud I, of you. <laughs> and it's like, hang on. Like, that's such a drastic change. Well, where's that depth to Tony that we've seen developing over the last like five films, yeah. right? Now he seems to be back to being a vapid dick from the first one. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. kind of like, uh, but this is why it's like, I don't, uh, I don't care. Like, it's not his movie, and right. everybody was worried this is Iron Man 4 with Spider Man. Literally, just as, did you hear? Dude, like, when, we, sure. when the lights went down at the midnight showing we were at last night. Somebody went, is this Iron Man 4? Just like, just, just as a joke to their friend. Did you sure. hear right. them say that? Yeah, 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 I heard like, it. Like, so that, that's it's, like a very, like... That's everybody's perception. Why like, cons- yeah, everybody yeah. thinks that it's going to be just, uh, who And cares? I guess yeah. you could consider, you know, comic book writers, do people take different takes on characters, and Tony is not consistent among, like, six different writers mm-hmm. in the book. So it makes sense that different film, like, different screenplays will have Tony's. I really don't like glib. the way he... I've never liked it. Not in, And the trailer is a little bit of a different performance, but it's still the same problem. I've never liked how he performs the... Don't do anything I would do. Yeah. And definitely do anything I wouldn't do. I, I don't like the way he does that. I don't know why. I just have a little bit I of just, I don't think I love the line. I sure. think it's a little a little obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And which is like which is fine. Uh I mean they're not all gonna be absolute zingers. Yeah. It's but. it's just interesting because it it does it doesn't feel like he was thinking about it really before the day he got there. Mm-hmm. Sure. So, honestly, I felt the same way about Marissa Tomei. But it's like weird then you have like so it's these these 
older but, actors who are supposedly really good and even I mean uh, Robert Downey Jr. Is, is, is the stranger one because it's more like dude you've been doing this for like 10 years maybe that's why yeah but that's it's it's kind of like where but, I, I don't think that uh, Johnny Depp needs to practice before he gets back to Captain Jack Sparrow he just kind of like steps but into he should it. yeah because he, like, yeah, he hasn't and, been and, Captain and, Jack Sparrow and, really so since the first one that's true Robert Downey Jr. you know he should you should mm-hmm. try to remember where he's at and what this mm-hmm. is like even the fact that he's playful in the car with peter like and to me conceptual if you're thinking about sitting down to write and this is a total nitpick because again the movie largely beginning to end scene by scene i fucking love but like you would think okay he just got back from civil war yeah <laughs> at the end of which he got he, his ass handed got, to him he got yeah, cap he's not shield happy. stuck into his fucking heart and then cap is like keep the shield you would think that that car ride would be weird yeah that Peter would be in the car and like know something was up. Yeah, and, and, and like, also like kind of having Peter be like, "So when's our next mission?" And, and have him be depressed, be like, like kind of like, "I don't." These aren't this, exactly. That, this yeah, isn't I, I fun. Understand, I understand why they wouldn't do that because that gives him, you know, a, a yeah, thing you're right. to do in that. It gives you're him right. a, an arc to have in the movie. It distracts which is, from the arc of the film. But, correct. But, you yeah. know, so how, here we running. Sorry, we're running into an interesting crossroads then here so we're talking about want... like was that what you're gonna say where it's like we have the universe tony and mm-hmm. then we have this film tony and how they're kind of at odds with each other mm-hmm. and we're gonna likely see this more and more as we have a universal narrative separate from the film narrative I, which I, is a new yeah. problem to run mm-hmm. into i give it a pass because it is so smart again i said this it's the best puzzle piece of any of these ever mm-hmm. it fits in so nicely and with but with tony it's like you would they're so smart about everything else. How like the connecting dots on both end of it. You're like, I like, I love that. Again, the climax of this movie happens because the Avengers got a new house. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And that's the whole reason mm-hmm. that we get yep. a fight. At yeah. The a end. lot of people have been saying it feels inconsequential, which I don't, agree with i think it's i think actually in, yeah. when, when future movies start coming out you're going to be realizing how important this movie is and, and also the consequential stupid. yeah it's fully consequential to peter yeah. and yeah. why should it it doesn't need to have universal i love what importance. you said about it actually you said it like i wasn't ready for how innocent it was going to be yeah it's yeah. i mean nobody di- there's no blood mm-hmm. there's no blood at all in this movie mm-hmm. but but somehow the combat and the like physical yeah. stuff yeah peter gets feels, a few bruises and cuts it but, feels yeah packed yeah every time there's, there's one we, thing about the movie we haven't talked about yet and you know, obviously michael keaton was great and we can gush about him oh yeah yeah what about course. the twist yeah. oh yeah that yeah. took me incredible comple- completely by surprise she exists as an impetus for him to have a personal connection to the vulture yes. to raise that stakes and, and then, also and to have, have a, a desire in high school as well to have something he wants yeah, in high school. Right. High school she's not really a character right she's just teenage girl and i mean and i bet we'll probably see him come back at some point especially if we have osborne coming forward because mm. now he has experience in in building alien tech which right. i mean will probably be the osborne steez as well mm-hmm. um he he has significance because he knows Peter's identity now. Mm-hmm. It's uh, also interesting as well. If, if I mean, this, this is a bit of a different conversation, but if Stark has sold that building to to Osborne, that's a very interesting. Like he's done yeah. business with another guy. Maybe, he's and and they, they say that Michael Keaton says that a lot. Yeah. He's like, Where do you think these guys get yeah. these weapons? Yeah, 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 he sells yeah, yeah. these weapons. Yeah. And it's like yeah, I he, love he that as well. About it, that like, he, like I think he basically says, if you were older, this would be a different conversation. Yeah, like he was like, you, you're too young to understand. But this. he's also wrong too because he he's right. a wrong, killer. Yeah. He's yeah. ruthless. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like you. It's it's one of those things where like I, yeah, I get like I'm on I'm on board, but I also see him doing these things that make me believe he's a bad person totally yeah but just the final point i wanted to make about him knowing peter's identity and yeah. still being there that's a remarkable amount of cards to give to a villain mm-hmm. in, a, in a marvel yeah. movie that's a remarkable amount of significance and weight mm-hmm. and i'm just like fuck man mm-hmm. okay maybe there's gonna be a bit more layers to this whole thing also forward. an incredible villain conclusion by just the fact that he doesn't give it yeah to, to mm-hmm. matt gargan i would love to see Vinny d as a main character in a, in the film but because i always loved stories that pit spider-man against the kingpin because they're very oh, moral. I think talking about Vin Diesel. Moral po- <laughs> <laughs> I really did. I'm not joking. I was like, Vinny D. Suddenly, he, the Vin Diesel. Is like, Who uh, would you want him to be? Pin. Doc Ock. <laughs> <laughs> I need the precious <laughs> tritium. <laughs> If there's one thing that I need, if there's one that fucking element, laugh he does in space. I need precious tritium <laughs> to continue. I love the fact, like, and I mean, Kingpin is the other example of a villain that has layers. Like, you're you're creating these villains. That's what makes the Marvel universe so special. Mm. Is like you have these villains and these heroes interacting, and they're never static. They're like always. There's always like they're always kind of on moral sides, but there's never. Yeah. 
just one way that things are. There's always a layer to everything, and yeah, and that's what this MCU needs to go to the next level. Because, like, obviously, at the end of this, like, Scorpion is the one who's just like, I've got some people on the outside who would like to teach right. Spider-Man a lesson. I don't want Scorpion to be the guy who's rounding up the villains. Yeah. But he's like, nuts. So yeah, it's that thing obviously. of, like, he's just, So, like, if it turned out that, that, that King he's gonna Pin get sh- was the guy pulling the strings, sure. that would be great. And I think you also brought up the fact that, like, okay, so Sony will not stop teasing the Sinister Six. Yeah, they will <laughs> like, not stop teasing the Sinister Six. Like, from Spy- Amazing Spider-Man 1, they've been teasing the Sinister Six. Right. And they're like, like they st- we, we, we still got it. In, we're still doing with it. With the Man in the Shadows, and then, like, obviously, at the end of Amazing Spider-Man 2, they really fucking push sure. it. Um, and, yeah, they just keep... Like, you know, at the end, it's like Green Goblin looking in the mirror and being like... I've got a team. Let's have, let's make it small. Yeah, uh, you know. And then, then now they're doing the same thing again. It's like fucking just do it now, please. All right. Thinking about a I'm team. S- yeah. Of like, let's say six guys. Sure. <laughs> Can you get six sinister get guys? Six do you think? Do you think? Dude, should they be evil? I don't. Evil's a little, <laughs> a little light. I'm what? thinking. Do you think that they would make a? Do you, mean, do you think that like the third Spider-Man movie will be called Spider-Man Sinister Six? No, Spider-Man Six should be. They should save it for the sixth one. Right. Fuck. Spider-Man Sinister, and then that's the total. The things that really get me jazzed are like, what is the next movie with MJ and Peter going to be like? What's that gonna? What, what's that dynamic yeah, yeah. going to be like? And the idea that they've hinted that Don, uh, Donald Glover is playing the pla- the Prowler, and that. Miles Morales exists yeah, in that right. world. Like that sort of stuff is like, oh my God, you're like, even if you don't bring this up for three movies, you've planted that seed. Sure. That now, you can now point to it and go, yeah, yeah we ex- this, this, we set this up. And hopefully it's not Doctor Strange, but it's taken. Like yeah. hopefully it, it actually is a thing where we don't go back and they're like, they were doing Miles. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, he isn't, didn't. but isn't, that, isn't that the funny change now? Because back then, like that was just obviously a wink and a nod. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. obviously yeah. a joke in an English. And, but now we have to like, oh, mm-hmm. well that means that yeah. this everything can be scrutinized. Everything, yeah. Yes, because everything has significance like Doctor now. Strange, but mm-hmm. it's taken. What? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> By who? <laughs> How? This was 11 years ago. <laughs> I really loved it, dude. I really yeah, I did. really did as well. And yeah. I think probably one of the better post credits. Um, <laughs> so funny. I know. I, it's it's good because he's like laughing as I well. Know. Like it starts oh, yeah, as, as like what you were saying. It starts a little bit meta with like a wink of just like business is good. Here yeah. comes the Marvel logo. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then it ends with literally Captain America looking yeah. at you and being like. <laughs> Sometimes so, these don't, these things don't work out. You need patience, and, he, and just the great line of like, "So how many more of these do we have?" <laughs> I know. We've seen like six of them throughout the movie for like weirdly specific things. Right. Yeah. That's like a. And so that's, you got to, the tension to yeah. pay off so on a joke for at the post credit stinger is like wow. One of the best jokes in that's it as good. well is when in that in that video in the gym class when he goes. Uh, my good friend, your gym teacher, <laughs> yeah. and he's talking <laughs> the other side. And it's the wrong side. So good. Very like, good. It's, and it was all—it didn't get a big laugh tonight when we saw it. Really? Because I think it's such a sm- and it's not done in a close. It's done in a wide shot, and yeah. it's like done like, on the cut. Like he, he like points and then he waves. I think about the well. First of all, Hannibal yeah. Burris yeah, plays yeah, the yeah, yeah, perfect. Like, was like I think this guy's like a war criminal or something now. But yeah, whatever, we'll yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's you can tell improvised. that was an ad lib. Because yeah. <laughs> and there's like a little bit as well when like somebody like dings the bell and goes, "That is not." true and then the teacher goes hey what have i told you about using the bell for, for comedy purposes, comedy purposes. <laughs> there's, like, there's a lot of yeah uh, the high school stuff is very funny he's yeah. funny man martin martin star is that his name the guy who plays the teacher yeah. yeah oh man they're like i believe and i don't want to <laughs> i would not want to lose a student, a student on a field trip a, not again <laughs> <laughs> and then it freeze frames on him like doing Zooms like a in. out of focus like on him yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's right. funny as fuck man all right we're it, gonna bring this home Oh shit, okay, cool. We gotta bring this home. Coming. I really liked it. We're gonna do three headed. Yeah, okay, so one word final thoughts, and then we'll do three headed. One word. One or, word. Uh, fuck. Um, <laughs> I mean, one sentence final one thoughts. Sentence, final thoughts. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Good. <Spider. laughs> uh, one sentence final thought. Um, matched my expectations. Mm hmm. Fun as hell and so good and couple things not good but good Mm -hmm. Tim this is the best Spider-Man movie that has been made yet oh Oh, shit you can't just end it there we need to talk about that I'll talk you know what no I don't want to justify it (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Dom, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> You think uh, so? Yeah, I think it beats Amazing Spider. I think it beats Spider-Man Two. I think it beats Amazing Spider-Man Two is the best Spider-Man. Wow. Really? <laughs> I think it clears Spider-Man Three is the number one best Spider-Man movie. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's the it's most well rounded. As far as a Spider-Man movie, They're yeah. As far as a, yeah, hard Spider-Man Two is a good movie. This is the best Spider-Man adaptation ever made. I think that's probably true. Yes. Like it's it's very good. Mm. It's not the most faithful in the world, but it's like understands the source material. It understands and it the character. It in intelli- exactly. Yeah. It adapts it in an intelligent and modern way. Yeah. Uh, in cool. a way yeah. That I love that they're like. I love with. that they're being like fuck it he's a fucking millennial he vlogs with the, with his phone yeah he like he does all this shit like, they're just like fucking accept and it and also they're setting yeah. up that he uses cameras and yeah. like you know he's kind of interested yeah. in that yeah. kind of thing a film by Peter Parker sure. yeah absolutely right. yeah right. like I want that like if you I was telling like Dom like if they were gonna do like I want them to do what they did with Judy Dench when they just kept her being M in James Bond yeah. even when they did a right. reboot because they were like she's too good we can't get rid of her if they brought in J.K. Simmons again to be J.J. Right. Jameson, no one would be disappointed. We'd all be like, yeah. we, we, that's fine. That's fine. Well, yeah. DC put the kibosh on that yeah, by casting yeah. him totally, as yeah. Jim Gordon. But I'm sure if, there's something in that contract. If they were going to cast somebody right now, the first person that comes to my mind is Terry Crews. Yeah. <laughs> that's interesting. Because, yeah. And that would keep yeah. with like the diversity hires that they kind of want to <laughs> stick with. Yeah. Uh, th- my, fu- my thought was, um, oh gosh, Dr. Cox. Who is John C. McGinley? John C. McGinley. I think he would be a great... JK yeah. or uh, a great JK Simmons. Yeah. He would be fantastic. <laughs> um, uh, a Peter. <laughs> you watch no. Scrubs? Have you ever seen Scrubs? Nah, it's a, wh- it, it's a, a single yeah, yeah, I've sitcom. seen Scrubs. It's very, very funny. Yeah. I've seen Scrubs, you but I don't know who... really like Scrubs. John C. No, McGinley. I've seen, I've seen Scrubs he, a lot. He's like his mentor character. What, he's what like I the meant mean was, doctor. I don't know who you're talking about. Dr. Cox. He's the mean, yeah, Dr. Cox. <laughs> he's the mean doctor. John C. McGinley. like his, his yeah. like, mentor. Yeah, he's buff. Yes. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, hair. He's very good. McGinley Cox. No, I think you're. Stop saying Cox. <laughs> I think that you're right. I think he would be good. Yeah. Yeah, he would be. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, we'll do three headed critic and we'll get the fudge out of here. Your... Oh, yeah, you said. Uh, yeah, I did. Fast, uh, I dropped that. He said best. I dropped that bomb ever. that made you uh, fuck up my table. Well. So. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Okay. <laughs> ah, Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the Mandarin is real. I like that they're like, no, we did something not so racist. And they're like, actually, no, he exists. No, he's Chinese there. as shit. We're just, we're just chilling out. Here's what we're going to do. In a couple years, we got a Spider-Man movie coming out. We're going to make sure a lot of them aren't white. And then you're going to get the Mandarin. And it's going to be bad. <laughs> I like that they're... <laughs> I love the idea that they're building up goodwill until they have the fucking Fu Manchu guy. Yeah, he looks like a... Um, Feige's sitting in the in the office in like 2006 and he's like <laughs> I need the Mandarin <laughs> again in all of his yeah. terrible Do you know what as well racist like, we need him to look like Lo Pan from uh, Big Trouble in Little China <laughs> in, in, I think in this version I would like to see Craven the Hunter sure yeah dude I'd like to see him might be interesting yeah yeah Mm-hmm. It's, it makes you also Mysterio would probably. Work. I guess in another words, Craven you could or... say that you're Craven the Hunter. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Craven, Craven. Oh, we need to we need to close this up. I'm okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. You finish your point. I'm sorry. What was I saying? I, I don't. Something about Craven. Oh, Mysterio. Oh, I was gonna say, is he gonna have powers or is he gonna be a guy? Right. Are they gonna be He's like gonna be a guy, guy, isn't he? Well, yeah. so they've really made an interesting play with this alien tech thing because they can explain mm. everything. Yeah. Everybody, every character is Osborne, they've ever wanted. Osborne's gonna be. The, we're gonna get the Green Goblin. I don't give a fuck. I won't say it. Uh huh. Um, is it is it Hulk? Is he like doing? Is it the Green be, Goblin the Hulk? Tra- no, <laughs> it's a is different tra- character. Is he trying well, to recreate the Hulk stuff? Well, is the green because the sure. green and is the. <laughs> I'd love to see him on a glider. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like on the ground. It's not moving. Just struggling Wait, to so lift is off. Spider-Man. Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Three headed critic. Dom me, Jack, Dom, whatever. Until uh, The Dom rules Stein. of this game is we all say one word. It goes around in a circle until it's a complete thought about the film. So, Damo, kick it off. <laughs> there are some Spider-Man moments in the film. But there are Peter Parker moments too. I mean, that's true. <laughs> I guess that's we're not good done. We're not done yet. We're not, not done yet. Done. God damn it. <laughs> Comma. <laughs> Does that, that your, count? Is that your thing? No, no, no. Is that? I mean, are we no, establish? No, please. Okay, gra- you can see. Okay. You can put a comma. Okay. Okay, there's a comma there. Comma. Uh, is there Peter? Wait. Peter Parker's moments too. Peter Parker's moments too. And 
Also, you really set me up here. Okay, um, <laughs> I burn man. <laughs> <laughs> <Moments>. <laughs> <laughs> this has been reasonable beef thank you so much for joining us oh. for our rebirth visual beef hey thank you so much jack no oh, thank you very much here. for having me it's always a pleasure it's so fantastic um thank you don <laughs> for that <laughs> so hang on, let me just recreate that, that that sentence yeah, yeah, yeah. so <laughs> there are there are some there, there are, are spi some, some Spider-Man Spider -Man moments in the, the film, film. <laughs> and, and also, also Peter, Peter Parker moments, moments too. And also Iron Man. Iron Man. Man. <laughs> Iron Man, Iron Man. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much. It's been Reasonable Beef. Hey, if you like this, head on over to www.patreon.com slash reasonable beef and give money uh, to help make this happen. It's not cheap, but it's good. I like making it. It's cheap. It's I like really listening cheap. to it. I like being on it. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I have a good time. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank go, you, Dom. Thank go you, see Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, go, go see it. Seriously, see it in theaters. Um, Please I don't, I don't know if IMAX them. is super necessary, but it's, no, it's, it it's worth a watch. Mm -hmm. Go to somewhere where they play it real nice and loud. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. See you forever. Bye. -bye.